In this video, we will be looking at Venn diagrams um, again. Uh, I've called this example two because it's our second video on Venn diagrams. That's three-way Venn diagrams looking at three groups as opposed to two groups, um, which is a little bit more difficult. The question reads, or the information reads, a group of 30 students were surveyed for their favorite car color. 12 students liked red, 10 students liked green, 4 liked red and black, 3 liked green and black, 4 liked none of the options, 1 student liked all 3 colours, and 1 student liked red and green only. So what we have to do, just like the last video on Venn diagrams, is create our Venn diagram with our three groups listed in our three circles. I've gone red, green, black and you might note this N which I'll explain shortly. The questions asked once we've got the Venn diagram obviously how many students like black only, how many students like red only and how many students like green only? So once we got this done, red only is represented by those students up here. Green only by those students here and black only by those students down here. So once we've filled in our Venn diagram, we can quickly answer these questions. Start with the most critical piece of information, I believe, which is this central piece and work your way out of the Venn diagram. So start here if you have it. Um, one student liked all three colours. This dot point here suggests that this is one. The dot point above it is also another critical piece of information which wasn't given in the previous example. So this is the new piece of information in this example where we have students not liking any of the options. The last uh, video on Venn diagrams, everyone surveyed uh, liked at least one of the options on offer. In this example, four of them don't, which is what this N is outside of the Venn diagram for, suggesting that four of those students that, that were surveyed did not want any of these things. So what we can then do is start filling in the rest of the information. One student liked red and green only. Red and green only is represented by this uh, box here. So red and green only, we have one student, which I can put in my one. This student here likes red and green, we're not denying that, but not only, he likes red, green and black, so we can't include him. Three students liked green and black. Green and black is this intersection between the green circle and the black circle. So this student's included in this um, three who like green and black. So this plus this must add to three, which means that must be a two. Two plus one is three. Four students liked red and black. So looking at the red and black intersection, red and black, this person definitely likes red and black. There's no denying it. So they will fit into that, which means that this and this must add to, uh, sorry, to four, which would be uh, one plus three, obviously to get mine, four that like red and black. I'm told that 10 students liked green. Now here's my green circle. Everything in it must add to 10. So two plus two is four, leaving me six to add to the 10. And 12 students liked red. So once again, all of these students like red, which means that three plus one plus one plus this number must add to my 12. So 3 and 1 is 4, plus 1 is 5, which means that this must be a 7. Which means I'm left to find this value here. And like the last example, you might be thinking, oh no, I've run out of information, but we've got another critical bit up here. 30 students interviewed or surveyed, meaning that everything added together, including the 4, must add to 30. So, 7 plus 1 plus 6 plus 3 plus 1 plus 2 plus 4, can't forget him, equals 24. The difference between 24 and 30 
is going to be the students that like black only, which is six. So I can quickly now go and answer this question. How many, or this, these three questions, I should say. How many students like black only? Here we have our black circle, but these guys like a combination of black and other colours. This person, or these people, only like black. So we've got six. How many students like red only? Seven. And how many students like green only? Six. And then we have satisfied the question.